Hey guys, it's Ryan with AIinsiderTips.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create Claude projects using a step-by-step -step tutorial. Now, before I just go in here and start creating a project inside Claude, if you've never heard of Claude projects, these are essentially custom versions of the Claude large language model designed to complete specific tasks. They have an entire resource guide on Anthropic's website. I'll be sure to leave a link to this and everything else that I mentioned in the video description below. Now, if you've used ChatGPT for a while now, you're probably familiar with custom GPTs. As you'll see here, I'm on the GPT store, and these are designed to accomplish very specific tasks, right? So writing, productivity, research, coding, um, ideation, et cetera, et cetera. You know, I've even created my own custom GPTs. I have other videos on my channel that cover custom GPTs, but long story short, Claude projects are Anthropic's version of custom GPTs. And I don't know about you guys, but I am becoming a big fan of Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which is the latest and most advanced model that Anthropic has to offer. And in this video, I'm going to show you why I prefer this over custom GPTs now. So let's dive in and start creating our first project inside Claude. Another thing I forgot to mention is that you must be a subscriber of Claude Pro or on the Claude Teams plan for 20 bucks a month for pro and 30 bucks a month for the team's plan. Now I share this with the marketing agency that I partner with called empathy first media. Uh, so we pay $30 a month for the Claude team's plan and that gets us access to these projects. All right, so let's dive in and create a project inside Claude. Now, once you're on the main interface of Claude that looks like this, all you need to do is hover over the top left over the Claude icon, scroll down and hover over projects and go ahead and click that. And this will direct you to the projects page. Now, if you don't have any projects already completed, obviously your screen won't look like this. You won't have any projects to choose from. But since me and my marketing agency have already created projects for various clients and different use cases, you see all of those right here. And we're continuing to build on top of these projects. Now, to create a new project, all you need to do is go to the top right and click this option here that says create project. And now it's going to ask you two things. Number one, what are you working on? So what's the name of this project? And number two, what are you trying to achieve? What is the purpose of this project, right? So what I'm going to do in this example, and you can actually mimic this because this is applicable to probably anyone watching this video, is I'm actually going to create a project of myself, acting as an own AI agent for myself for various use cases. So I'm gonna do Ryan Dozer AI agent, and then I already had the description ready to go, so I wasn't thinking of something on the fly here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the following. You will be my personal AI agent to help me complete various tasks related to marketing and content creation. This includes creating social media content, blog posts, ad copy, emails, and generating responses for reporters from PR opportunities. And then you also have an option for visibility. So you can make this private or you can make this shareable with whatever organization you're in. If you're not in a team's organization, if you're just on the pro plan as an individual, you should just have the one option here, I believe. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click create project. And then it's going to direct you to a page that looks like this. Now this can look overwhelming to those who aren't familiar with the Claude platform, but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step of what I would do in order as I'm kind of optimizing and building this project. So on the very right-hand side here, you see what's called project knowledge. Now essentially, this is all of the data that we wanna to feed to Claude so it can best produce outputs based on the data that we're providing. So again, the more quality data that we can provide, the better outputs that we're going to to get pretty typical for any AI model, whether it's chat GPT or whatever. And so if I click add content, there's two options to add content to your project knowledge. You can upload from your device. So whether that's an image, whether that's a PDF for it to analyze, um, or if you click add content, you can add text content. So whether these are articles that you've written on the internet, if you want to mimic your writing style and your tone, whether these are podcasts that you've been on, you can copy and paste podcast transcriptions. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video, or just anything that's out there on the internet or whatever you're trying to accomplish, the more data that you can provide this project, the better results and outputs that you will get. But the very first thing that I wanna do before I click add content is I wanna set custom instructions. This is very important that you do this first. 
Now I already have a custom GPT of myself and I actually made a different video on this and I'll leave a link to that in the video description below for building a custom GPT of an AI agent that acts as myself. I'm gonna go in here and click edit GPT and I already have custom instructions inside my custom GPT that I can then copy and paste into my new Claude project. This makes this uh, process extremely efficient versus just doing it from scratch. So if I go in here and I copy and paste my custom instructions, I'm gonna come back to Claude, paste it in here, and I just wanna make sure that this is correct before I, I click save instructions. You are an expert in artificial intelligence, chat GPT, SEO, PPC, and everything related to marketing. You will, you will be an agent acting as myself for various tasks and all of your outputs, please provide, please follow the provided instructions. Use the provided knowledge to mimic my writing style, use a writing tone, da da da. Uh, ninth grade reading level, do not use the following words or phrases. This is very important that you add as much detail like this as possible. Um, because as you guys know, these AI models like ChatGPT, Claude, there's all these various words and phrases that they use where you can very easily see if something's written by AI or not. So the more that we can exclude in here, the better. Uh, include statistics. And I'll actually leave this in the description if you guys want to copy and paste my set of custom instructions, if you want to mimic this and do something on your own. I've just found that these work very well. And sometimes I'm coming in here and adding and removing things and optimizing it as time goes on. But I'm going to click save instructions. So now my custom instructions are in here ready to go. The next thing that I want to do is click add content. And then I'm going to click upload from device. And what I actually did before this episode is I saved a PDF version of my LinkedIn profile. That way Claude can go and analyze everything that I've done on my LinkedIn from job experience, from the way that I write things. So the way I write my description about me, any certifications that I have. I'm not sure I can actually look at all the posts that I've had over the years, but regardless, it's a good baseline data of information um, for LinkedIn or for, excuse me, for Claude to sit here and analyze my LinkedIn profile and add that to its data point. So very useful in my opinion, if you're gonna do this to upload a PDF of your LinkedIn profile. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna click add content, add text content, and I'm going to do uh, Ryan Dozer bio. So just adding a bio uh, of myself here to give it general information. And I do have one saved. So I'm gonna come in here. I have a short form bio and a long form bio. I'm actually gonna go in here and copy and paste my long form bio and just make sure that this information obviously is up to date and relevant. Uh, if it's not, you're not doing yourself any good here. So I'm gonna copy and paste my long form bio, click add content. And now I have my bio here and I also have my LinkedIn profile. Now, one thing you might notice as you see, as you keep adding things, is you're gonna see this graph move. And right now I've used 1% of my knowledge. So there's only a limited cap of knowledge that you can add to each project, but this does go pretty advanced. I wouldn't be worried about adding too much if you're just using projects for the first time, but over time this can fill up. So. Next, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to click add content. I'm gonna click add text content. And now I'm going to add a bunch of podcast transcriptions from all the podcasts that I've been on. So I have all these tabs open here of different podcasts that I've been a part of. Um, and I'm not gonna do this in this video. I just wanna show you, give you an example of what I'm about to do for all five podcasts. And then I'll skip ahead after they're all done. So let's say for example, I wanna use this podcast as an example to get the transcription. So I'm gonna copy and paste the title, come back to Claude, and I'm going to say um, podcast, let's do Ryan Dozer podcast transcription. And then I'm going to add the title. Actually, I'm just gonna do podcast transcription. And I'm just gonna leave the title right here. And then what I wanna do with this podcast transcription is you can come down to YouTube click show transcript, and then I'm going to copy and paste this entire transcript. Let's see if I come down here, copy, paste, and then I'm going to click add content. And that added the entire podcast transcript to my knowledge. And why this is so important when you're building these projects is because it's actually taking what you said through a transcript. You can do this for podcasts in addition to YouTube videos as well. And the more data that we can feed Claude on how I actually sound and how I talk, the better outputs and more realistic outputs we're going to get that sound like me. So I'm gonna go ahead and add all of these other podcast transcriptions and I'm gonna skip ahead after I'm done doing that.
All right, so I just finished adding all the different transcriptions for various podcasts that I've been on, and I also did one for a speaking engagement, as that, as that was just me speaking. So that's a good data point for Claude to have. Now, I could go in here and add transcriptions, honestly, for all of these videos, as it's just me talking. Um, but due to the fact that I've already used more than half of my knowledge size that I'm allowed for, um, I might just add this strategically more over time as I'm featured in the media more, I have more speaking engagements, I'm on more podcasts, et cetera, et cetera. You wanna keep feeding this with the latest and most up-to-date information on whatever your topic is. So now let's put this to the test. So in this example on the left-hand side, what I'm going to do is the following. I'm gonna say, using the provided knowledge, help me write a LinkedIn post when I provide the topic. Be sure to sound like myself in the uh, let's do in the uh, sound like myself in the post output. And I'm going to start there. Also, guys, make sure you are using Claude 3.5 Sonnet as that is the most advanced model. You don't want to jack around with some of these other models. Um, and so here it says pondering stand by. I understand I'll act as you Ryan Dozer it spelled my name wrong. That's funny there uh, to create LinkedIn posts on marketing and AI related topics. Uh, ninth grade reading level. So it's kind of reiterating what I asked it in the custom instructions. And so let's say in this example, I want to do something, you know, for a LinkedIn post on the topic of um, write three variations of a LinkedIn post on the topic of, uh, let's see, AI impact on SEO. Make sure that you spell things correctly. Uh, and then I'm gonna add something like, make the posts engaging and insightful. Just something basic here. And I can always go back and prompt it again if I don't like what I get. Um, so now let's see what it produces here based on that. I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead and come back when this is complete. All right, so let's quickly skim through this and see if what it has is accurate in the way I, that I say things in my opinion. So Claude says, here are three variations of a LinkedIn post on AI's impact on SEO written in your voice. Number one, AI is shaking up in a bit SEO in a big way, folks. With Google's recent updates, we're seeing a major shift towards rewarding experience and expertise. That's somewhat relevant. I don't really say the word folks a lot. Um, gone are the days of keyword stuffing and backlink schemes. I do say that. Uh, it's all about EEAT. I say that a lot. Um, so if I go back to number two, AI isn't going to take your SEO job, but someone using AI will. I've definitely said that in multiple podcast episodes. Um, I've said this before. Uh, let's look at number three. SEO pros, listen up. If you're not leveraging AI, you're falling behind. But here's the catch. AI generated content alone won't cut it anymore. Yeah, that sounds like exactly something that I would say. Um, so not terrible. I mean, I could definitely go in here and edit some things. I'd remove the hashtags, maybe remove some of the wording, add a little more personal touch to these posts before I publish them. But long story short, guys, not bad on a first iteration. And if I come back to projects, if you should see your newly created project right here. I want to mention that. So if you click Claude and come to the home screen, you may see it in recent chats here. Um, but if you go back to what I said in the original part of this video and click projects, here's the option to create a new one up here once again. Um, but here is my Ryan Dozer AI agent. And you should, you should see it here now in your projects list. So you can also filter here by all projects, your projects. If there's projects that you didn't create and other people have in your team's plan, uh, you can filter there. Uh, so here, if you click your project, it takes you back to the same screen. You can continually add knowledge over time, which is something I would suggest you do. Um, and again, you can ask it like you would traditionally ask Claude anything, right? So like generate me an SEO optimized blog post, generate me five ideas for LinkedIn posts. Uh, you could throw in ideation prompts. You could help it summarize articles for you, right? Anything that Claude excels in, you can just do it in this projects interface versus going back to the home screen and just doing it from a fresh chat. By doing it in projects, Claude now has all of your data at its disposal and it can tailor the outputs based on the knowledge that you are providing it here on the right hand side. That's it guys. That is just a simple step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can create projects inside Claude. Now, again, this is Ryan with AI Insider Tips. I really hope this video helped you guys out. And if you found it valuable, give me a like. Let me know in the comments below if are you using Claude projects at all for your personal use case? Do you prefer them over custom GPTs? I really want to know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm going to try to bring more tutorials just like this one to you guys in the near future. Be sure to visit my website at AIinsidertips.com where I have written versions of all of my different videos here. And with that being said, I really appreciate you guys being here and I hope you all have a great day.